What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Here we be taking a look at what makes a good man beater in Madden NFL 25, and uh, is uh, what we like to have in a man beater is is a formation that's either compressed or has routes in it that has natural picks and rubs, where basically the routes are going to run into each other, causing the confusion with the defense of the weak and beat man coverage. And uh, here in the run and shoot. Uh, you don't have a lot of compressed formations. So probably the best one we can get is the flanker close. And um, the play I like to use on the flanker close in, in terms of man beater is the run and shoot switch dig. Uh, it's one of the best plays in the game in my opinion. And uh, let's take a look at why I like it against man coverage. So against man coverage, which uh, or against, uh, with this play, the hot routes we like to make, we like to drag Eddie Royal and we like to put um, – Matthews here on our, our streak, and what's going to happen is it's going to cause a Royal is hopefully going to interject into Allen's man to cause a natural pick to set Allen free against man coverage. At the snap of the ball, you see that Allen's going to get free against man coverage, partially because of the route he's on, and partially because of the effectiveness of what we're doing with Eddie Royal. Obviously, we could put him on a slant, uh, or we could even put him on a zig route. Uh, a lot of options here. Um, just to get that space with Allen, and uh, certainly can mix this up. Uh, I personally like the drag this year. I think drags are just a really good route to have on the field at all times. And then on the left side, uh, it's actually a little bit better of a of a man beater because they actually do rub off. Um, here we're going to try and get a better example. There you see they they touch each other, and then we can hit Brown on the outside. So two quick reads uh, that already will beat man coverage for us off the snap of the ball. Um, another thing I really like about this uh, package here is the ability to motion snap Eddie Royal on a smoke screen. Motion snap smoke uh, smoke or hitch routes. Motion snap hitch routes are very effective uh, for for snap throwing and user catching against man coverage. A lot of people underestimate this route, and I think that come tournament time, we're going to see a lot more people going to this um, really amazing route uh, to Eddie Royal. There, just a motion. What you do is you just put him on a hitch route, motion him out. You're going to snap him at the numbers. Snap the ball, throw it to him once you read man coverage, and uh, he's going to have to. Rivers is going to have to throw the ball a little faster than that, but he's going to have to um, make a catch for you, and you're going to get that animation. So, a lot of good things you can do with that. Uh, and another thing we really like is being able to motion guys around. So, we could motion Brown across the, to the right here and create a trips. Uh, a little trips formation to the right and we can do some things like this with with Brown we could leave him on that route and then we could take Eddie Royal and maybe put him on a zig just cause some confusion and all of these uh, in conjunction with one another somebody's gonna break free and uh, you know that's what we really like to do with man beaters and then obviously guys man beaters uh, there's obviously certain routes that we know that beat man coverage you know drag routes beat man out routes beat man in routes beat man curl routes beat man um, so again, we want to just um, take advantage of that. Uh, certain situations we'll throw an in route. Certain situations we'll throw an out route, depending on on where we are on the field and also what the defense has been uh, doing, and just to adjust based off of our tendencies. So that's the basics uh, for finding a man beating formation, and it's also a basic man beater out of the run and shoot playbook. Obviously, we always like to have uh, some kind of running threat uh, from all my formations in Madden 25. So you see that we have the halfback sweep. And then we can also have these nice uh, hot routed delay blue routes we can use. Just sneak him out into the flats there, maybe make a move or something. You know, depending on how good your running back is, how good your user skill is, you know, you may be able to make a, an actual thing out of that. Um, another thing I really like about man coverage is having, like I said before, players is essential in this game um, because it's going to cause a lot of a lot of positive things are going to come about, and um, you just need to get on the bandwagon of doing that this year. A lot of people are, are fans of motion and running back out on swing routes. Uh, swing routes are really effective. And, uh, you know, just use the motion snaps to your advantage. Try to work them into your offense. Uh, my opinion, motion snaps are very effective in Madden 25 on how to beat man coverage. So that's why we like to have compressed formation. Because, I mean, we can motion Brown left and right. Uh, we can motion snap one step and then throw. I mean, there's just so many things you can do. You know, I wasn't that really wasn't planned. But just saying, you know, get in the lab. Get working on it, guys. Um. As far as a basic a basic man beater, I'd say there's no better combination than a zig route combined with a drag route to create a pick and a rub, and you see X is going to be wide open here. So be sure to use these combinations in Mad 25 in order to beat man coverage uh, from any playbook, from any formation. Uh, just use these concepts, guys. I really appreciate you checking them out today. And if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or uh, the comment section, 
or uh, email address. Uh, hit me up in the email section. So it, all these things you guys can find. All links for that is in the description below if you guys want to check that out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for checking out today's man-beating play. Uh, I think we're on show 24, so uh, really good stuff out of this offensive scheme of the week, and I hope you guys kind of have a better understanding of how I like to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 25. If you have any questions, once again, feel free to contact me in any of the three options I laid out for you in the description. And also, for those of you who are new to the YouTube channel, if you have any questions or concerns, contact me, or you can just leave a comment, and people will get back with you as soon as possible. We really appreciate you guys checking out, taking five minutes out of your day to check out this video. And also, guys, I uh, really would appreciate it. Some of my subscribers uh, would uh, show their support for me by sharing this video on Twitter. Really, mean a lot, really means a lot to me when I get those notifications. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.